Ingredient talk, flamingo tongues. Yeah, that's right, the tongues of flamingos. Let's go back to ancient Rome, where these exotic and now protected birds were once eaten. The notable Epicurean and curator of recipes, Apicius, wrote in De Re Coquinaria how to cook this lovely bird. Pliny the Elder states that Apicius, the most gluttonous gorger of all spendthrifts, established the view that the flamingo's tongue has a specifically fine flavor. Moving up to the 17th century, English explorer and pirate William Dampier wrote that their tongues are large, having a large knob of fat at the root, which is an excellent bit. A dish of flamingo tongues being fit for a prince. It's both fortunate and unfortunate that we can't try this ingredient today.